and welcome to the demonstration video for our tool CocoX, which we built for extracting meaningful concepts from text and mapping them to ConceptNet. ConceptNet is a semantic network that contains general common sense facts about the world, such as birds can fly or computers are used for sending emails. Knowledge facts in ConceptNet are represented as triples, where nodes represent words or phrases and edges the relations that hold between them. ConceptNet has been proven a useful resource of background knowledge for various NLP downstream tasks, but there are some challenges it brings for its users. As opposed to conventional knowledge bases, such as Freebase or Yago, the nodes in ConceptNet are not normalized, but represented as freeform text. This means that concepts often consist of complex multi-word expressions, which may include nested phrase types, often they are uninformative or overspecific, and sometimes they contain noise. These specific properties lead to a larger amount of nodes and a sparser graph compared to conventional knowledge bases, which in turn is challenging for tasks such as relation classification or the merging to other knowledge bases. Not normalized nodes are especially challenging when someone wants to map phrases from natural language text to concepted nodes, for example for building subgraphs from texts. In recent approaches, simple string matching has been applied to perform such a mapping, but given the non-normalized nature of the concepts in ConceptNet, this can result in an incomplete and noisy mapping, and a lot of relational knowledge stored in ConceptNet gets lost. Motivated by these observations, we built CocoX, a concept extraction tool for ConceptNet. CocoX selects meaningful concepts from natural language text and maps them to a collection of concept nodes in ConceptNet, utilizing the maximum of relational information stored in the knowledge graph. CocoX is a tool written in Python that is easy to use and can be downloaded from our GitHub repository. We will now explain step by step how it works. First, make sure you have all the requirements for CocoX. They are also listed in the description of the video. The first step is then to run CocoX extraction.py and define your input file or sentence and the output file. In step 1, we extract candidate phrases from a given sentence or text using the Stanford constituency parser. We extract noun phrases, verb phrases and adjective phrases. In step 2, we process the extracted phrases. This happens automatically with the initial comment. We apply spacey for lamentization and remove stop words. For the next step, we first create a dictionary based on ConceptNet, where under one entry we collect all concepts that are conceptually related but represented as distinct nodes in ConceptNet. In our dictionary, keys are lamentized words contained in the extracted phrases and the values are a list of all nodes in ConceptNet that contain this lemma. Therefore, in our dictionary, all ConceptNet nodes, including the lemma of one key, are clustered together under one entry. In step 3, we then map the extracted and preprocessed phrases to our dictionary. This all happens automatically in CocoX with the initial comment. By doing this, we are now able to assess the maximum of relational information stored in the ConceptNet knowledge graph for a given candidate phrase from a text, since it allows us to jointly look up the in and outgoing edges of all nodes assigned to the same key. The problem with our dictionary is that we obtain many concept nodes that contain not only the key lemma, but other content words. These nodes might be unrelated nodes that we want to omit. We therefore establish a method that allows us to filter out nodes that are not similar enough to the candidate phrases by calculating the similarity between the concepts in our ConceptNet dictionary and the extracted candidate phrase. We calculate similarity in terms of length and in terms of semantic similarity 
and offer a set of options between which you can choose, for example, the maximum number of differences between tokens or various metrics such as dice coefficient, word movers distance or cosine distance. In our experiments, we evaluated the output of several configurations manually and found the following configurations to yield the highest coverage and lowest noise, which are also listed in the description of our video. For applying the filtering, run cocoaxoverheadfile.py, define your input file, which is the previous output file, define your output file, and the settings for calculating similarities. The commands and parameters you can also find in the description of the video. Finally, you get a filtered list of valorant and meaningful concept net nodes extracted from your text, which you can then further use, for example for relation classification systems or for building subgraphs from text. We hope that you find CocoX helpful and enjoyed our video. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in contact.